fans, I've had a couple of questions about the pinning and unpinning of labels, which is great. Thanks very much. Keep questions coming in. Uh, really helps to drive new content. If you haven't seen the previous video on QGIS3 labeling, then please have a look at that. Uh, this is just a little kind of addition to that. So up here in our label toolbar, here we can highlight pinned labels and diagrams. So if I do this, you can see that we've got three here that are pinned. And what does this mean? What does a pinning actually mean? Well, if we pan across here, you should see that other labels start to move around. Whereas our pinned labels will actually stay where we've pinned them to. And that can be very useful if you don't want your labels to be shuffling around whilst you're panning about. So just to recap again, how do we do the pinning? Up here it tells us uh, we can pin and unpin labels and diagrams, click our marquee on labels. Holding shift will unpin and control will toggle our pin state. So say for example this label sheep, if I want to uh, pin this one, I can marquee it like that. Now it's pinned. You can see it's highlighted because we've got the highlight pinned labels on. Uh, we can also just click on them. That's fine. And if I wanted to toggle these, I can hold control and that should toggle the state. There we are. So if I want to unpin one as well, I can use shift and that will unpin it. And this is really, really useful if you want to lock the position of where your labels are on your project. So say for example, I had all my labels in the right place. I could hold up here, left click, select all of them, and now all these guys are pinned. So as I pan around, they do not move. Now one thing to be very careful of here and to be aware of is that if I zoom in and out, it doesn't pin the scale of the label. The size is going to change depending on the map scale. So you can see that happening there. So pinning and unpinning does not do that, but it will stop them moving while you're panning. So this is something to bear in mind when you get into a layout. Uh, it may look a little bit different in your layout. You might need to adjust the size of labels in comparison to what it looks like in your map window. But I just wanted to run over that quickly because I had had a few questions. Questions are great, like I say, they do keep help driving content and give me ideas for new videos. So thanks very much to those of you that have been in touch. Um, do keep hitting that like button, really helpful. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that. And comments always brighten my day. So, happy mapping!